Hello everyone, this is Mike. Welcome to my channel, Mike the Tech Savvy. I'm making this video with a single purpose. So the purpose of this one is this, the Bixby button. If you ask me, it's not that bad, but this is just because you can remap it the way you would want it to work from the beginning. Samson told us that this time around we would be able to remap it straight from the menu which is not really exactly true. In order to remap it from their own settings menu, you would have to first set up Bixby and then add your Samsung account and everything. But if you want to quickly remap it, you're not able to do it straight from the box. This is why the following app is really important. This one, so Bixby button remapper. I'm also a beta tester for this one. If you do have an S10, I suggest you to include yourself in the beta testing phase as well. You would get the latest and well, the most improved versions. As you can see right here, on the 11th of March, we just got a new variant, which has more optimizations for the S10. If you have the free version, you will only have the possibility to remap the single standard press of Bixby. So let's see what options do you have. You can launch home, you can use it as a back button, you can use it as a dialer, camera, launch application, and here you can select whatever you want. Launch shortcut app, jump to last app if that's your cup of tea. Task manager, power menu, notification center, settings tray. So basically the sky is the limit. You can do whatever you want with it. Also very interesting. You can choose sound. So media next, which is very underrated. I might add in the past when I long pressed the volume up, it would skip the song and go to the next one and the other way around with the volume down key. But right now I'm pretty sure you need root access for this. By the way, Lineage OS does it from the scratch. This is why I'm kind of a fan of Lineage OS. Looking forward to it for this device. Um, so as you can see, you can remap it the way you want. You can also unlock more features here. Um, you see, I have full remapping enabled. It's really simple. You just have to, well, connect your phone to the PC, install the Samsung drivers or the ADB drivers, I will leave you a link in the description for those. Navigate on the phone to the BX Actions folder and start the bxactions.exe. It's an executable that you start right away on any Windows machine. And then you can select whatever option suits you best. I went with the full Bixby disabling and let me just show you the result. So in my case, when I press the Bixby key, Spotify is launched. So just take a look at the speed. Boom, instantaneous. Just take a look at it. It's magnificent. If you do buy the app, you will have lots of new and different options as well. It's not expensive by any means. It's about, well, three euros. So it's really nothing. If you're really interested in the extra functionality of this Bixby button. And from where I see it, you should be interested because Samsung well added it, didn't ask anyone and doesn't let you customize it. So if you paid seven, eight, 900 euros for one phone, I don't think three euros would mean anything, which basically gives you so much customization. You can also remap the volume buttons, single press or long press or something like that. You do have a lot of options. Initially, when you'll start the app, it will ask you for a couple of rights. You just enable everything and that's about it. You're good to go. Of course, it won't be that fast and smooth from the beginning. I strongly suggest you to do this part as well. So to start the BX Actions app from your Windows machine and disable Bixby completely. As far as I see it, this app is magnificent. If you do have an S10, S10e or S10 Plus, and of course an S8 or an S9, 
you should definitely buy this app and support the developers. They've done an amazing job with it and I really think that initiatives like this should be encouraged. This is one way, the simplest way, and probably the one with the most features and the most possibilities for you to remap the Bixby key. I will leave all the necessary links in the video description below, so you will find the Samsung drivers there and also the Play Store link for this app. This is not a sponsored video by any means, but I really think that Android is about this, it's about customization and if a developer allows us to do it, why not support and encourage him to continue doing so. Thank you so much for watching this video, if you liked it, please do press the like button and if you'd like to see more similar videos in the future, also press the subscribe button which will be displayed right here in the bottom left part. Stay tuned, of course more extended videos will come. The full review will come as well, so stay tuned for that. I'm gonna discuss this device in and out. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I really hope that this video is helpful for you guys. Once again, thanks a lot for your support. I wish you a great day. This was Mike the Tech Savvy. Bye.